This video is brought to you by fishhuntshoot.com. For more and bigger trout, go to fishhuntshoot.com. Howdy guys, Cal Kellogg here. What you're watching right now is you're watching me catch what I like to call a bonus trout. It's a trout that uh, I shouldn't have caught, but I did catch. And uh, I caught it because I was ready. Here's the situation. I just caught a fish on my downrigger rod and I'd fouled my lead core. My lead core was armed with a, uh, a magnum metal head fly. Well, when I cleared the downrigger line from the lead core, it was time to reel the lead core in and reset my equipment. Now, I didn't burn it in real fast and I didn't have the rod in some weird position. I had the rod in a position and, and you know, this is just habit, it's just what I do. I was just rolling the fly in and I had the rod in the position where I could react if I got hit. You know, one time in a thousand, you're reeling in an offering like that and you will get slammed. And uh, I ended up catching a really nice rainbow as a result. That fish hit about, I don't know, 20, 25 feet from the kayak as I was rolling that fly in. There's two fairly common ways to pick up bonus fish. Um, one is when you're reeling in a lure that's on either lead core or you're top lining it. Always, oh, I got a fish on a fly right here. You always want to keep that that rod in a position to, uh, wow, that's a fighter. Hold that thought. Let's see, see what we got going on here. Man, that feels like a stud. Man. Okay, bonus trout. Let's kind of finish up that subject now. There's a couple ways you can get some bonus trout. One is if you're using lead core or a top line and you're reeling that lure in, make sure you're reeling it in at a speed where the lure is working and have your hands and the rod in a position where you can react if you get hit. That's one way to get a bonus fish. Another great way to get a bonus fish is if you're fishing with a downrigger, which you don't want to do if you're down 50, 60, 100 feet, you don't want to pop it out of the clip and immediately start reeling. Instead, pop it out of the clip and just put the rod in the holder and let that rig, whatever you're pulling, let it work all the way to the surface. Sometimes there's a fish down there following the gear and when that lure starts to ascend, they will follow it up a ways and they will smash it. So when you've got gear in the water, keep it fishing as long as possible. Those are two things that you can start doing when you're out on the water that are gonna catch you bonus fish throughout the season and throughout your fishing career. And you know, when you're catching more fish, you're gonna catch more bigger fish. Some of those bonus fish are gonna be nice big trout. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg, put those tips to use. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. If you're looking for gear, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and uh, please hit that subscribe button and you'll always know when I'm on here talking trout fishing, fishing tactics, gear and more. I'm Kel Kellogg, you have a great day and I'm gonna get my troll on. <laughs>